That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Today, I am going to welcome a young lady from the YouTube channel, Confidence and Pretty TV, with the title, Cerebral Palsy Doesn't Define Me. Now, this young lady exudes confidence, which is out of this roof. And I urge y'all to support her channel. I'm going to put it in the description. So, also, hit the notification bell once you have subscribed to my channel as well. Likes and dislikes are welcome. But most important, please share and comment on the videos. Let me know what's going on. So, without further ado, let's jump in the video and allow Rose, as her family calls her, introduce herself. This is Geneva Renee, and I'm the Disability Awareness Diva, and you're watching Confident and Pretty TV. Now, in this clip, she explains her channel and why it's called Confident and Pretty TV. Let's take a listen. So, Confident and Pretty TV, the name I came up with because I have cerebral palsy, so it's kind of like a play on words, and that's kind of what Spirit gave me. Confident, I'm confident and I'm pretty and the acronym for cerebral palsy is CP so that's why I came up with confident and pretty TV because my channel is primarily going to be about discussing my life living with cerebral palsy and then I'm also someone who works in the disability world I've worked in disability services for almost 10 years um, actually yeah it's last year would have made 10 years so, not only am I someone living with a disability, I work in that sector. So, I know, I know a lot about um, services and resources as it relates to um, providing services for individuals with disabilities. Here she goes into her definition of what is cerebral palsy and the type in which she has. Check this out. Cerebral palsy comes from a brain injury either during birth or shortly after it comes from um because a lot of people assume that it's just a physical disability when really it comes from a brain injury and depending on the part of your brain that's injured that's how it manifests itself physically so my cerebral palsy i have something called spastic dysplasia and it affects my lower extremities which is my legs and it affects my gross motor skills and balance and coordination now, here I like to uh, say that I, I like this particular part because she sort of learned a, a meaningful lesson along with uh, something that she had done that's kind of humorous. And I, I thought it was kind of funny, but again, it's, it's kind of uh, a meaningful um, moment that she had that made her realize something. Check this out. Okay, so when I was in grade school, like first, second, or third grade, like I would get all the little boys to like carry my tray or whatever because I had two braces on my legs and a walker. And my mom was like, okay, Rose, because my family calls me Rose, um, you're going to have to learn how to carry your tray. And I would try to use my disability to my advantage to get the little boys to carry my tray because I didn't want to carry it myself. I don't know if that's really funny, but like I said, I just use my disability to my advantage to get people to do stuff for me. But at least I knew at a young age that men are supposed to do stuff for me because I'm a woman and you're supposed to help me. So, hey, it worked for me. But eventually I learned how to carry my tray on my own because my mom was like, I don't care how many times she drives this damn tray. She gonna have to learn to carry it on her own. But it helped me in the long run because today now I'm able to do things on my own and be independent 
um, as much as I possibly can. In this clip, she wants us to become aware of what cerebral palsy is and how it affects her and just what the people should uh, think about when it comes to people with disability. Check it out. That we live regular lives just like everybody else. We work, we play, we have sex, we date, we, we go through drama and, and, and crazy stuff just like everybody else. But I think a, a lot of the, the stereotype and stigma that is attached to people with disability, a lot of people see some of the some individuals in the media and on TV and they show a lot of times the most extreme cases of dis the disability um, sector and that's not all of us. All, all disabilities are not created equally. Just because one person might have, like my CP may be milder than somebody else. So it all, all disabilities don't look the same. So like I said, and that's why my channel comes in as far as education and informing people and just kind of talking on various subjects as it relates to this not only does she work and do other things which you'll find out if you check for her channel but she plans to do this let's check it out um i do plan on coming out with a series of books later on but i will do a video on that as time progresses because that's something that I'm working on right now. And I don't want to get too, informa too much information because you know how they go. So. Now, lastly, in this clip, she reiterates her channel, what it is, and again, what she plans to do on this particular channel. Let's check this out. I um, early on, my channel is primarily going to be related to the disability world, speaking on resources, services as it relates to disability, because my position at my job, I work for an agency that provides employment services, family support services. We have the George Community Trust because I am from it. I'm specifically from Atlanta. Um, we have several different services to um, assist individuals with disabilities and help them become more um, independent and be successful as they possibly can. So I'm going to integrate my knowledge and skills from working with individuals with disabilities for over 10 years almost and then my own personal experience. So I'm going to be speaking on various topics. I will be doing other videos not related to disability and I'm going to call those wild, wild card videos so y'all know that it's not necessarily related to a disability topic. It's something that I might want to discuss maybe a book that I've um, you know read or you know something that it's maybe trending in the news that I might want to discuss and give my opinion on. But yeah, um, that's basically what Confident and Pretty is about. And I hope, you know, long term that people, specifically in the disability world and just people in general, um, learn something from my channel and <clears throat> just become more knowledgeable about individual disability and the disability world in general. And it kind of dis will dismantle the stigma and stereotypes as it relates to people. In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed this video with Confidence and Pretty TV. Please stay tuned for more and subscribe. Thank you.